Hey guys, welcome back to my free code camp tutorial videos. Today, we're going to be doing the very last one of intermediate algorithm scripting. If this is your first time joining me here today, I have gone through every single one of these, so you will find these in my channel. If you like my content, please click like and subscribe below. I release these algorithms on a daily basis, and I also release uh, JavaScript projects or React projects or some informational videos all about coding. So please stay tuned. Now let's get on with the map the debris. Let's read the directions first. Return a new array that transforms the element's average altitude into their orbital periods in seconds. The array will contain objects in the format name, name, average altitude, average altitude. You can read about the orbital periods on Wikipedia. We're going to need this for later, so I'm just going to open it up here. The value should be rounded to the nearest whole number. The body being orbited is Earth. The radius of the Earth is blah, and GM value of Earth is blah. All right, let's bring this code over. And this one uh, is going to require us to do some research about how to find the, um, what was it? The orbital period, I believe. Yes. So a period is pretty much uh, how long something takes to fulfill one revolution. So in this case, um, let's see. If the Sputnik has an average altitude of this much, what is the average orbital period? Meaning, how long does it take around to go around the Earth like this? Um, let's look at this. The formula that we want to use is this one here, actually. Let me zoom in for you. T is the orbital period. T is what we are looking for. You guys should hopefully know what pi is, 3.14159. Uh, a is what's called the, what is it? It's a semi-major axis. Super confusing, but just think of it as a radius. It's the radius. Uh, think of the A as the radius from the center of our orbit. And then this mu, this is a Greek symbol called mu. It looks like a U. It's just GM. So just replace this part with GM. They give us GM here. So all we got to do is plug in GM here. Now, what the heck do we do with this Earth radius? Let me explain. Altitude, if you look at this example here, the altitude is the distance from the surface of the Earth. So, in that case, uh, let's say like this was Earth right here, and this was where Sputnik was. How do how we find this radius, this A right here, is we have to add up Earth's radius we have to add up Earth's radius and add on top of that the altitude. That's how we get this A value here, this radius, total radius value here. So that's why they give us this variable. And the rest is pretty much being very careful and writing this here. So uh, the only issue is in this example here, we're given one object in this array. We could It could very well be that we have multiple objects in the array. So we have to loop through each object in the array and transform each one such that uh, each one returns a name. So we just keep the name. But instead of average altitude, we return them the orbital period with the value that is rounded to the nearest whole number. All right. So the way that I'm going to do this is the math me map method, MAP. Uh, I've, we've, if you've followed me in these tutorial videos, we've been using this so many times, so I don't want to spend too much time on it and what it does, but pretty much it iterates through each of the objects in the array and transforms them, in other words, maps them to some other shape, whatever shape that we tell it to do. So for example, let's do this. Uh, we pass in a callback function here. The parameter is the object that we're iterating over, so I'm just going to call that obj for object. And... Let's say, I'm just going to show you guys something. And let's just return high. Let's see what happens then. I'm going to console log the result of this. You see here, we initially had an object that had, that had this shape. I transformed it to just high. So this is a very uh, dumb example of what map does, but hopefully you guys can understand. So pretty much whatever we return from this function will become that will become the object we will transform the object to whatever we return here so what do we want to return we want to return an object with the name intact right we still want name intact 
So let's just do name will be object.name, except we want to give them back the orbital period. Now make sure you spell this correctly. Orbital period. I don't know how he knew how to com how to complete that. Uh, oh, it's the same name here. That's why. Okay, so we want that, and we want to follow this formula very carefully. So we know that at the end of everything, we're gonna round this. So I'm gonna use the math library here because it comes with a handy round function, and I'm gonna try to put this guy here inside here. So we first have two times pi. You could either write 3.14159, or if you're very anal like me and you like things very concise to the end, uh, you could use math dot capital P capital I. This is a constant and you'll give you the value of pi in a much more accurate, uh, many more decimal places. And how do we access the square root function? Well, we could either put parentheses and make this the one half power, or you could use a math library again and use this sqrt function. This was square root, whatever we put inside here. Now we get to this a right here, which again was earth radius plus the orbital altitude. Uh, how do we cube it though? So there's again, more than one ways. We could either write whatever we're cubing three times like so or you could do hmm I, it's a little bit embarrassing but i don't remember if this works in javascript or not i know in python you could do this like that and that would be a power but i don't think you could do that in javascript however one thing i do know that you could do in javascript is um, another math function it's called the pow so this takes in two arguments. The first one is what you're taking the power of, and the second one is to the what power. So what we wanna do is we wanna take the power of, uh, the base of our power is going to be, what did I say? Earth radius plus um, the object's average altitude, like that. And comma, our power that we're going by is three. Uh, this is getting kind of ridiculous. So let me see if I could hmm, format this just a little bit. Let's put the round, uh, round at the end, like so. And two times math.pi times math.square root. And let's put all the stuff inside the square root, inside the parentheses, like so. I feel like we're missing a parenthesis. So where is the end parenthesis for this? It is all the way down here. That's not what it should be. There should be one more like that. All right, so we have math.pow. Uh, so we did a to the cubed and we're dividing the result of that by mu, which is just GM, capital G, capital M. We have it right here. This should give us the correct answer. Let's see if we get back what we want. So I get back name Sputnik orbital period 86400. Let's see if that's what they have. And that is what they have. Let's see if this example works too. This one with two objects inside. I'm gonna just carefully paste that over here. Oh, there was actually three objects, I'm sorry. Uh, I. ISS becomes 5557, five, yes. Hubble becomes 5734, yes. 2377399, nine. yes. So this works. All right. Uh, so I'm not going to test this here as I usually do because I know it works. However, let's clean up this code somewhat, okay? Uh, one thing is these shouldn't be var. I know that they're the ones that wrote var here. Uh, but because we're not changing them, we could just make them as consts, const variables. So we're not going to change them. Also, within this return array.map, the function inside in the callback, it only, we only have one expression. We're returning the object right away. So to shorten this, we could get rid of this return and put parentheses instead of the curly brace. Like so, I believe. No, but I'm missing up parentheses here like so uh, this way we're just immediately returning the object here 
Now we need these parentheses here because if you were to just put a curly brace, which represents an object, it also represents the start of the inside of that function, the scope of the function. So we need this parentheses to let JavaScript know. So this should work. And if you want to make this even more concise, let's convert this to an ES6 notation, like so. Get rid of these parentheses because it yeah, just has one parameter. And why not? Let's just bring these constants outside the function. And we have one expression here again. So let's replace that with parentheses, just like what we did before. Whoops. Like that. I feel like I'm missing a parentheses. There we go. All right, so we have that. As a matter of fact, you don't even need the parentheses out here because we're not dealing with an object that we're returning. So I could just bring this to the next level, except that looks pretty nasty. So I'll make put a space there. Uh, don't like this trailing semicolon, so we'll leave it like that. Now let's see if free code camp likes this solution. Run the test and we pass. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. Uh, we did map the debris and we have officially finished every single intermediate algorithm scripting section. Uh, probably the next time we will go through each of these ones here. Now I know these aren't the only tracks on free code camp. There is the other ones too. Uh, it's not just JavaScript either. We have all these bunch of these other tracks too. Uh, so if you guys want me to go through a certain section, please let me know in the, uh, in the comment section below. And depending on the feedback I will get, I, uh, I will do the ones that has the most feedback. Uh, so please, if you like my content, please click like. If you dislike it, click dislike. Subscribe to my content. You will see these coding tutorial videos on a daily basis. And I will see you guys next time.